The progress bar object is often used when developing an application with the Kotlin programming language. In this tutorial video we will make a simple Android application with a progress bar object. The video consists of two parts. In the first part, we will transfer the project from GitHub to the computer. After learning in detail how the transferred project works, we will make the application again with you from the beginning from the second part. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. You can download and develop the source codes of the project in this video from the Turtle Code GitHub account. Before starting the project, you can support us by following the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts. In the first part, let's transfer the project from GitHub to the computer. We will use the version control feature of Android Studio for transfer. Copy the project address. I will share the link of the project with you in the description of the video. Use the address in the version control panel. Press the clone button and start the transfer process. Select Trust Project to complete the transfer process. After the transfer process is completed, let's first examine the Gradle settings of the project. The extension setting has been made to access the objects in the design in the Gradle file in the coding section. Let's take a look at the design part of the main activity. In the design part of the main activity, there are two plain texts for the user to enter first and last name. When the submit button is pressed, the progress bar starts to work. The progress bar object was initially set to invisible. After a certain time, the transition to the second activity is made. In the second activity, a welcome message is issued with the first and last name entered by the user. Let's take a look at the code part of the main activity. In the code part, identities are defined to access the objects in the coding part. We will check the objects in the code part using the object IDs. Let's take a look at the design part of the second activity. In the design part of the second activity, there is a text object. In this text object we will issue a welcome message using the first and last name received from the user. An ID was specified for the text object in the code section. In the code part of the second activity, a welcome message is published using this ID. Let's take a look at the project codes. Several variables were defined in the code file. First a variable for progress bar is created and synchronized with the null value. A variable is defined for the counter under the progress bar object. This variable will be increment and displayed under the progress bar. A variable is defined for the text to be displayed under the progress bar. In order to constantly update the counter, the handler structure must be used in the while loop. For this, the definition of handler was made. Synchronized with the main activity using the identity of the progress bar object. In the same way, the text object is synchronized with the main activity. A variable has been created for the button. The set on click listener function is used to assign a task when the button is clicked. The progress bar is made visible when the button is clicked. The created variable is synchronized with the progress bar object. In the runnable structure, the name, surname and message variables requested from the user were created. Created a message variable to be sent to the other activity. A welcome message was published using the first and last name in the message variable. The while loop is created and the created variable is increment. Created an indicator to show the value of the progress bar object. By using the try and catch structures, the while loop is made to run for a certain time. An intent variable is created and the message prepared for the user is sent to the other activity with the keyword using the put extra function. Migration with the start function is complete. Progress bar object made invisible. The thread function is started using the start function. In the code part of the second activity, the message in the first activity was synchronized with a variable by using the keyword in the getString extra function. The variable is synchronized with the message found in the second activity. Run the project. Enter first and last name. Click the submit button. 
After a certain time you will go to the second activity, and you will see the welcome message. In the first part, we examine the design and coding process of the Android application containing the progress bar. In the second part, we will redo this project with you from scratch.
If you have any questions let me know in the comments. You can also support us by subscribing to the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts.